and welcome to Giggles and Yarn, my crochet channel. This is Nelly from South Africa. Welcome by Giggles in Gare. Bienvenue à Titi Shaka. So now we have completed this front toe part, and at the end we're going to make the pom pom that's at the tippy of the pointy toe. But for now, let's make the ankle. So take your same crochet hook and a green yarn. I'm using Tiger Lime green, but you can use any color or any um, uh, kind of color combination if you want to. I'm just using the typical holiday colors. So let's start here right at the back and go into that first stitch and pull up a loop chain one and pull tight now we're going to make one row of single crochets all the way around this should be 12 stitches on the one side and so all together 24 yes 11 to 12 stitches if you have between 10 and 12 on the side which means if you have between 20 and 24 that's a good um, a good fit for a 24 to 30 months to get the foot in now in the next stitch make a single crochet and one single crochet in each stitch around let me continue with you until we reach the bridge part and then we'll see how we're bridging the bridge together <laughs> let's cross that bridge together Oops. Just one plain row of single crochets in green and now we've reached the bridge so we're going to go across here across this part here so insert your hook here on this side make a normal single crochet and insert your hook on the other side of the bridge and make a normal single crochet and continue all the way with single crochets and I'll meet you at the end now I've completed my row of single crochets in green and I have 24 stitches so at the back make insert your hook at the top of the first single crochet and pull through and make a slip stitch and then we're going to end up our color chain one and cut your yarn and pull through so with the next row you can trail your tail and um, sew it away that way if you want to now we take our red again. I'm using a cherry red double knit. And with our red we're going to make a row of double crochets. Exactly the same all the way around in double crochets. So let's attach our new colour. So go in at the top of that last stitch. Pull up a yarn. Chain one and pull tight we can trail both tails if you want to for now i'm not going to trail tails or sew any tails away in case i make a mistake of some sort and i want to undo i'll just push my tails in there for later so let's chain three one two three and in this
next stitch we'll make a double crochet a double double crochet is the length of three chains This um, chain, this space here is very small. So it's so hard for me to get in here to make a stitch, but strictly speaking, let's just make our first double crochet into the same stitch. I'll try to avoid it, but it won't work. All right, let's just make it in the same stitch. You begin with your first double crochet. There. So much. Now, in each stitch around, so in each single crochet, the top of each single crochet, make a normal, haha, <laughs> as I said the word normal, as I noticed I made a back post double crochet. There we go. That's better. Now, continue making double crochets, normal double crochets, all the way around one double crochet in each stitch and I'll meet you at the end so I've reached the end of the row now let's make a slip stitch in the third chain from the bottom Chain one, cut your yarn and pull through. Now our next row will be a row of front post double crochets. So let's insert our hook there in the middle at this ridge. And um, in between that chain three and your first double crochet of the previous row, take your green yarn, pull up a loop, chain one and pull tight. Now chain one. So for our first double crochet, we go around this post, the very first post where we attached our new color. So yarn over, go into this big space on the side of this post these are our posts and come up on the other side of the post so from the front here insert your hook behind the post and come up on the other side and yarn over pull up a loop so you pull your loop up behind the post then yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two let's do that again together for our second front post double crochet yarn over and insert your hook into this big big space here Go around this post here, come up on the other side, now you've got this post. Yarn over, come past this post, pull your yarn and bring up the loop. Now you've got three loops on the hook, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. That's your second front post double crochet. Let's make one more together. Yarn over, insert your hook from this side down into this big space behind this post. Come up in, in the other big space on the other side of the post. Yarn over and pull the yarn behind the post 
and come up right next to the post with a new loop. There's three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, so you've crocheted your normal double crochet there. So one more, yarn over, go around this post and finish your double crochet in the normal way. Last one, yarn over, catch this post here and finish your double crochet. That's your front post double crochet. Continue making front post double crochets all the way around and I'll meet you where we started. I've completed my row of front post double crochets and so let's end off together. Insert your hook in the top of the first front post double crochet yarn over and make a slip stitch then chain one and cut your yarn pull through and that's the end of our lime green color for this row so let's take our red again and make a row of front post double crochets in red i'm going to double up my yarn for this one uh, just to get a little bit of strength here at the top under our shell stitch border which is coming now. So take a double strand of um, double knit yarn because you see this is chunky. I only had a chunky now so um, I'm going to double up. So here at this ridge at this roof let's make um let's insert your hook there in the big space between these posts and then pull up a yarn chain make a chain and pull it tight if you want to secure this you can tie it to your green string at the back here so now make one chain, chain one, and this very, very first post. Let's make our first front post double crochet there. So you still remember how to make those. And for this whole row, we will make one front post double crochet in each stitch around. careful to not crochet one that you've already crocheted because sometimes if you pull your work a bit you might think uh, it's an available post but with the color differentiation it shouldn't be so tempting so continue making front post double crochets with your doubled up yarn in each stitch around and I'll meet you where we began the row. So now I've reached the end of the row of red front post double crochets and I'm making my last front post double crochet around this post at the end and then into the stitch on top of the first front post double crochet let's make a slip stitch and make a chain cut your yarn and pull through so that is our little <laughs> cute <laughs> that's why my channel is called giggles and yarn because i love these little things okay now we're going to make our border our border is a shell stitch scallop let's begin with that so we're making it into this top of our last row 
we're going to make it from the inside out because we want the scallop's pretty side to be upward because it's going to turn out. So let's work from the inside out and insert your hook into this big space between the posts of the previous row. Take your lime green or whichever color you're using and pull up a loop. Chain one and pull tight. For this one I'm just going to chain it lightly for now until we work it away or tie it to my previous color. So now chain one and then into this next space here let's make four double crochets so yarn over and insert your hook from the front into the big space and make a double crochet make three more double crochets and then chain one okay now into the next space make a slip stitch and chain one then into the next space four double crochets and four. Four double crochets into that space and chain one. Then into the next space a slip stitch and chain one. Let's make one more together. Four double crochets into our next big space. And into the and then chain one and into the next space a slip stitch and chain one and continue like this all the way around so it is it will be four double crochets into the next space big space there and into the one after that it will be slip stitch and chain one so four double crochets chain one and slip stitch chain one four double crochets chain one slip stitch chain one continue like this all the way around and I'll meet you where we started so I've come to the end of my shell stitch border and I've got 12 scallops so let's end off together here where we've made our first chain there let's go into that chain make a slip stitch cut our yarn and make a chain cut our yarn and end off so that is our border pretty eh now we are going to make the fur on top of the elf slipper like this we're going to make it by crocheting a single crochet loop stitch so from the inside outwards insert your hook right at the back um, in the middle what where we started and ended our rounds all the time let's begin there Take a double strand of white yarn and your normal size crochet hook. I've been using a number four all this time. And pull up a loop 
chain one and pull tight now let's make into that same stitch a slip stitch Ach, a single crochet loop stitch so go in with your hook as if you're going to make a normal single crochet you yarn over this thread here this strand then this one here you're going to catch it as well you're going to yarn over that one also and bring that loop down into the stitch where we began pull up a loop and then finish your single crochet the normal way let go of the loop and pull tight there's your first single crochet loop stitch this makes this loop that's very secure and then we're going to cut them and make our fur let's make another single crochet loop stitch together so insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over on the one strand in your hat then the other one as well let's try that again both of them like that pull through pull up a loop and finish the single crochet again and again insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over with the one strand and catch the other strand as well pull through into the same stitch two loops on your hook and finish your single crochet continue making single crochet loop stitches And I'll meet you where we began. Now I've finished my row of single crochet loop stitches all around and now let's finish off by making a slip stitch into the top of our first single crochet loop stitch and make a chain, cut your yarn already cut my yarn and pull through now this stitch here at the top let's just take it back down so that it can be part of all the fur I'm just gonna put my hook through there and pull it here we go now we're going to cut all our loops so this one we can just cut the same length as the other loops and then, mm -mm. right now just put your scissors through and cut and just go all the way around and cut the loops open well you know what um these loops are a little bit long for this little slipper that's why i've cut them shorter so that they can just be a little bit of fur but they mustn't cover our border um, so therefore I cannot really use the original size of my loops I couldn't make them smaller because of the way I hold my yarn and I have big hands and uh, 
this is just my normal size of loop that I get when I make a loop stitch. So um, instead of just opening up the loops like this, I'm actually going to cut them sh smaller all around. So I don't have to open them up and cut. I can just in one swoop just cut them. And I don't want to cut them too short. I don't want to have to regret anything. <laughs> so I'll just start a little bit. Um, but they are too long for this shell stitch scallop. Let's have a look. Um, I'm also going to pull them over a lot so they can actually come a bit sh shorter so continue cutting your um your loopies then work away your yarns and then we're going to make the pom-pom i mean work away your tails and then i'll meet you when we make the pom-pom now we've sewn away our tails everything and fluffed all our um, fur. So let's make our pom pom. Take a strand of white yarn and then let's wrap it around these three fingers. Wrap it around 50 times. Just wrap and I'll meet you at 50 strands. 50 times and then cut your yarn. Now remove it from your fingers gently and then cut another piece of yarn about this length I say 10 centimeters place your pom-pom yarn in the middle of that strand and tie a knot make three knots Make sure that this side and this side are equal lengths. That side and this side. Pull tight. Tight, tight, tight. And two more knots. And then you keep this side. You keep your tails because you want to shake your pom pom holding the tails. Now, <coughs> sorry, I normally just cut through your loops. On both sides don't don't cut these tails keep them out the way and now I usually keep a little saucer handy because we're going to cut a lot away from this pom-pom now you see some pom-poms I make like for this slipper it's a Grinch slipper, so it's got to have a very Grinchy style pom-pom. So I didn't cut anything from this. But this pom-pom is a very tight little small pom-pom. And to get that tight effect, we need to cut away a lot. That's why we made many strands and many wraps. Oops. So it looks big now, but we have to cut, crop it. We have to crop very tightly. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we need to use a lot of strands for tight cropping to get a real, real smooth effect. So just hold it on your, on your tails and then just start cropping. Crew cut. <laughs> And shake. So I'll just bring it all together more so I can see what's going on. That's really coming nicely now. And now all we need to do is make sure they're all the same length because we've reached the desired cropped effect already. 
even on the sides here. <clears throat> There we go. Check, check, check. Let's see. A little bit more. So there's our elf pointy toe tip of the slipper. Pom pom. So now we're going to attach the pom-pom to the pointy part here of this pointy toe of the elf slipper. Um, there was a red tail here. If you're going to put a bell on instead of a pom-pom, then keep that red tail, but I've worked mine away. So thread your yarn needle and let's sew the pom-pom on. So just go here. Under this point, we want the pom pom to, to stand out on, at this point, but uh, let's go in from the bottom up into the point, right into the point. Do not come out here at the back because if you come out here at the top behind this point, then there will be a white piece of yarn standing out there, sticking out that you cannot get away in the end because your pom pom is going to hang here like this your pom-pom is going to hang towards this side and if your pom-pom hangs to this side and you come out here with your white yarn you're going to have a loop of white here so work from the bottom just straight into the pointy the point the furthest point so i'm coming up from the bottom here and I'm coming out exactly at the point where the pom pom is going to hang. Slightly under it, and then the other one. That's right at the point. Now I'm just going to tie my yarn there, tie my two strands and there you can see it's hanging there perfectly. So now I'm coming to going to come around with my strands, I'm just bringing them in under the pom-pom and then I'm going to tie again. And one more tie, one more knot. Then I'm going to cut them a bit shorter and work them away. So I'll just insert them where I want them. I'll, I'm going to insert them from the top there so they don't show you at all. So I'll just bring them down somewhere to the middle of this um, toe part. Thread my needle and pull through and then I'm happy that it's hanging, nothing showing and it's a beautiful pom-pom and then I'll just, I'll just bring it back out somewhere else and let the tails disappear on the inside. Okay. And just cut that and pull tight and there we have our beautiful fun elf Christmas slipper <laughs> happy holidays so if you want to you can add a little bow at the back I just weave it through on the side of the ankle so that in case the little child to whom you're giving this is a gift in case um, his or her foot is a little bit small, um, we want to prevent this slipper from falling off. So you can just add this bow. It's actually just a string of chains. Um, so they can pull it tight to prevent the slipper from falling off. So I've made this one already. 
and let's just make one for for our second slipper so take a strand of red and a strand of green mine is jerry red and tiger lime green yarn um, make a slip knot and let's just chain 70 So I've made my 70 chains and then you can just take your yarn needle and thread it with the two strands and now we're going to weave it through on this side and we'll weave it through the row of double crochets. So insert your needle yeah at the back where the midriff is there it's got to be in a wide open space because we're going to have to pull it through so it can't catch any yarns it's got to just be in open spaces and all you do is you just weave your needle in and out of the stitches and then just pull through and keep going all the way around until we're back where we started so I've come out on the other side and my own tails my own the ends are just practically the same Length. If they weren't, I would have had to pull and, and and try to get them the same length at the end. So just um, pull, um, make a knot and pull, not a complete knot. So you can see it's pulling in. And then just make a little bow and there you've got it. So they can just make it, the mommy can just make it tight or loose or the daddy for the, the happy holiday child. So work away your tails, just work them away at the back of your chain. Weave them in and just cut. And there we go, all done. <laughs> Just to say that if you've already worked the tails away and then you realize that you have to weave it through um, you can just use a safety pin or a hair pin at the end of it because um, I took this one out of my other slipper to demonstrate with it so what you can do is then you can just weave, weave it in and out like that Et voilà Until next time, tot volgende keer.